cloud services. So uh, Rohan, please confirm if I am audible properly. Yes, Ribu, you are audible. OK, thank you. OK, so uh, in today's session, as you um, maybe if you are not aware of, I'll just you know explain a little bit about this and then we'll go through the complete presentation. So in uh, the cloud services, basically the so the Texicom is the only brand which gives you the intrusion alarm system remote maintenance over the cloud. So over the cloud means that um, at any point of location, you can you know access the sites whichever the sites installation you have done you have the complete access and you can provide the maintenance services to the customer at any point of time so this is the benefit you will get if you go with the Texicom cloud services so let's begin with our today's agenda so in today's agenda we will uh, uh, try to see that what is the cloud Texicom cloud services like uh, what all features are there then to achieve or to get this cloud services, what are the requirements? And then we will see features and benefits. Then about the pricing part that uh, if, if we go ahead with that cloud services, then what will be the pricing criteria? So there are different pricing criteria. It depends upon you know customer to customer. Whatever benefits you, you can take it. And then we will see the sign up process. So in the last, I will show you how to do the complete sign up. And after signing up, when we log in into the cloud account, then what all features will uh, will able to get and what all you know advantages we can provide to the customers once we have a cloud services. And uh, before I proceed, I have muted everyone so that you know i just complete the session on time in the last i will unmute and then you can ask as many questions as you want and in between during the presentation if you have any doubts related to the today's topic only you can very much write it down in the chat box our team will definitely answer that query okay OK, so what is the cloud services? So a cloud service, Texicom cloud service is a basically a web based portal to manage, configure and control your intrusion alarm system, right? So remember one thing, this cloud services is meant for the installers and not for the end users. Because just to, you know, reduce the workload and how much easy we can make our intrusion system while doing the installation. So keeping that particular thing in the mind, we have come up with this Texicom cloud services idea, right? And about this cloud services, so what will happen whenever the installer go to the site? How quickly the installer can complete the site? This is the aim behind this. Right when we have launched this cloud services, the, so the main aim is how quickly and efficiently we can complete our site. Right, so that is why it is meant for the end customer. Oh, sorry, not it is meant for the installers, not for the end customer. Another thing is the Texicom cloud services is not a monitoring software or which is also called a central monitoring software. No, it is not like that. Through the Texicom cloud services, you can manage, you can configure the control alarm system, but you cannot do the alarm monitoring. Please remember this thing. So because you know, uh, most of the people must be thinking that uh, maybe we can provide this type of services also, like monitoring the alarms and inform the customer. No. The cloud services is, is not meant for that. Then installer will need to have a cloud account first. So the owner of the installation company will have to create the Texicom cloud account, which is a free of cost account. He has to fill up the form, sign in into the cloud account. And once he has signed up the account, after that he can add as many sites as he want, right? So this is the complete procedure or a, means a, a, a complete procedure which I have just explained you, you know, in a short manner. Once we 
go through this presentation, then we will be able to understand that what all things are there in the cloud services. Now, you must be wondering that why should I use it, right? So, uh, you know, this is this is a big question which is coming in your mind that why should I use the Texicom cloud services? So the answer is that it will save your money and reduce your time means the uh, the service which you provide to the customer is definitely get reduced. For example, if customer calls you for XYZ problem that I'm getting, I'm facing this problem in this alarm system. So I want a service person to be available at my location. So what you will do? OK, sir, I will definitely send a person tomorrow morning, right? And you will align someone for that particular site. So it will take a lot of time. So it, if you have a Texicom cloud account and Texicom cloud services enabled for that particular site, then you can very much provide instant solution to the customer. So it will save your money and it will save your time also. And obviously it will add the value to your customers, right? So customer will definitely feel delighted and it will increase your, uh, in, you know, the faith towards the uh, towards you that the customer is very much delighted and definitely use your services very much. Right. So that's all. These are the benefits the customer will get and these are the advantages the installer will get. What are the system requirements? So first of all, we need to understand that if we need to provide. All these services to the customers, then firstly, what are the basic requirements I should have at the site? So number one, I must have a premier elite series panel, either elite 24, 48, 64W, 88, 168 or 640, right? So all the previous versions or I would say the premier series or the Veritas series, the older series are not compatible with the Texicom cloud services. Please remember this. The only panels which are compatible with the cloud services is premier elite series with version 4.01 or above. OK, so first number one requirement is I should have a Texicom premier elite series panel with version 4.01 or above. Then number two, I need a smart com at the site, right? So these two things are the basic requirements to have all these Texicom cloud services. For the customer. Now. Access anywhere, so what do you mean by access anywhere? It means that. It doesn't matter that if there is a installation done at XYZ location, then it doesn't matter for the installer that he should be available at the site for providing the troubleshooting. No, it is not required that you should have to be at the site. You can provide the maintenance services from anywhere in the world. So this is what it means, access anywhere. If you have a panel along with a smart com installed at the site, then you as an installer or an engineer can provide the maintenance services remotely also. What do you need? You just have a proper internet connectivity either on your phone or on your laptop through which you will connect with the intrusion alarm system at the site. Right, so this is what the advantage you will get if you have a Texicom cloud services enabled for that particular site. So under the you know access anywhere you have one place to store all your customer location information means as you all know that firstly you have to create your Texicom cloud account, right? Once the Texicom cloud account is created, then you have to add all your sites. So let's say I have 10 different customers who are using Texicom panel along with the Smartcom. So all these 10 customers I would say is at a like a, they are the sites. So I have total 10 sites and what I will do, I will create my cloud account and 
one by one, I will add all the sites in my cloud account. So the cloud gives you the option to save the complete customer data, name, address, email ID, phone number, date of installation. And if you have done any troubleshooting, you can provide the notes in the cloud account itself. So it will act like a database for you. Then number two is that you can add as many sites as you want. Right, so there is no limit in the cloud account that if you have a cloud account, you can add as many sites as you want. There is no limit for that thing. Then another thing is manage ingenious access to customer site. So as I told you that who will create the cloud account? The owner of the installation company will create the cloud account. Now, once the cloud account is opened i have logged in into the cloud account now i need to add a site if there are you know 10 sites or 20 sites every time owner will not come and you know or owner is not that much free that he will add the site for the customer so what you can do as a owner you can add your employees under that account so i have a cloud account now under me and in my company i have you know 10 people who are working or there are 10 employees who are working. So I can add all these 10 employees under that cloud account. So what will, what is, what will be the benefit you will get? Now, whenever the new site comes, no need for the owner to log in into the cloud account and add the site. The same thing my engineer can do. OK, so instead of owner, now engineer can log in into the cloud account and add the sites. So this is the benefit you will get once you have a cloud account and you can add your engineers into that cloud account and they can manage the sites also. Remote maintenance and programming. So this is what I have told you that in the remote maintenance and programming, what all things you can provide or what all benefits you can provide to the customers. In the remote maintenance, you can sync date and time remotely. If there is a, you know, uh, the time got reset due to power cycle of the panel, you can very much sync the date and time remotely from the cloud account to that particular site. Then upgrade the panel version. This is also one of the very important and interesting feature. You must be aware of that if you have a Premier Elite series panel installed at the site, and by chance, if it is, you know, um, obviously uh, that for the cloud account, the panel must be version 4.01, right? But right now we have version 5 available. So if by chance you need to upgrade the panel version remotely through the cloud account, then what is the requirement? Existing panel must be version 5 because we have 5.01.06 version available, right? Let's say the panel version is 5.01.01 and you want to upgrade it to the latest one. So remotely, you can upgrade the panel firmware version. And along with that, you can also very much upgrade the SmartCom firmware version. So both the versions can be upgraded remotely. That is also one of the benefit you will get. Then device agnostics programming means no need of laptop and the USB com cable and the engineer should be present at the site. No, that is not required. If you have a control panel along with the smart com installed, then you can very much access the complete system remotely over the Texicom cloud. And once you have the access of this uh, site, then you can program each and everything remotely. So as you all know that, uh, uh, you know, before this Texicom cloud, what we need to do is we need a person to be available at the site and he must be connected through the USB COM cable. Right, and then through the WinTech software, we can do the remote programming. This is the one way of doing the programming. Correct. Now, 
with the help of Texicom cloud service. If you have a cloud account and under that cloud account, if I have a site added, then you can very much program the complete site without any person to be available or without any engineer to be available at the site. OK, this is the benefit you will get. Then program the panel from anywhere from an interface that is like Wintex. So obviously, as you know that uh, th this is also one of the feature which is still available that through the Wintex software, you can very much program the complete panel. So that is also there. Then template for easy programming and maintaining uniform installation. So in Texicom cloud services, this is also one of the feature you will able to get that, for example, um, I have multiple sites of banks. Uh, I'm taking one example of SBI bank, right? So what happened? As you know that in the banks, the uh, the intrusion alarm panel, all the zones, all the structure, the, the programming structure remains same in all the branches, right? This is what it is called as uniformity, right? So the uh, all the branches have the same kind of structure. If on zone one we have a shutter contact, then in all the branches, zone one will have the shutter contact. So in the same way, in Texicom Cloud, you will get one option of creating a template. So in the template, I will program the complete uh, one branch programming, right? And whenever I'm programming the second branch, I'll just send the complete template as it is. No need to program each and everything again and again. Then I'll connect the third branch, the third system and send the template programming. So within a minute, your complete panel is programmed. OK, so this is what it is called as template. So template is a predefined programming which I have saved, which I have created for my all the sites. OK, so template option you will able to get once you have the cloud services. Then we have a unlimited logs. As you know that in the Texicom control panels, we have the capacity of storing the event logs, right? So smallest panel has, you know, a little less memory as compared to the biggest panel. But when we talk about, so, so I'm talking about, about the control panel, so it has a limitation, means there is a fixed amount of memory available which we can use. But in the Texicom cloud account, there is no limit. Right, so it means you have unlimited logs are saved in the cloud account. Correct, so it does not depend upon the panel memory. If you have a Texicom cloud account and the site is added, you can save as many logs as you can. The logs will definitely, the events will saved automatically, means in the cloud you can save unlimited logs. Then, Audit purpose means whenever the audits happens in the government organization, in the banks, in the financial institutes, you can very much take out the logs from the cloud and that can be used for the audit purposes. Then live diagnostics. So in the same way uh, like we have in the Vintech software, we have a diagnostic tool through which we can diagnose the complete system. We can diagnose even you know the smallest part of the panel like any terminal if we want to see we can definitely check from the diagnostic tool so in the same way in the cloud services you will get the option of diagnostics where you can diagnose each and every zone voltage output and systems then proactive and scheduled maintenance so this is also one of the very uh, you know unique feature in the cloud services that Automatically, you can define a schedule. Right in the cloud account. What happened on every schedule time? The cloud will do the automatic check. Of that particular system. And that, so that is called a health check report. So this complete health check report basically has number of things which you can enable or disable means. The cloud account will give you the option 
that what all things you want to include or you want to exclude during the health check. And once it is done, then my cloud will automatically do the health check and send the report to whatever the email IDs you have entered in that particular setting, right? So the health check can be done every week or bi-weekly means once in a 15 days, every month, in every three months, in every half yearly or yearly. So there are a couple of scheduling options available. Whatever the schedule option you will select, cloud will uh, do the health check automatically on that particular time period and send you the complete report over the email. Right, then we also get one more option that is called a custom branding, right? So as you have, uh, you know, saw that, uh, you know, the branding is one of the way of selling your product, right? So what happened is Texicoms gives you the option that whenever the customer log in into the mobile app, then when he log in into the mobile app on the top, it will show you uh, show the name of the company means the name of the installation company who has done the installation. So this is called the custom branding. So that is also possible if you have a Texicom cloud account. Right, and the, the site is added under that cloud account. So as you can see on the right side, my cursor is there. So on the right side, it is showing ABC alarms. So this is one of the installation company who has done the installation for the site and whenever the customer is you know doing the login into the mobile app on the top the company name is coming in the custom login you know in the custom branding you can even uh, you know uh, give your phone number email address over here whatever the thing you want to show as a branding purpose you can very much do this then there is also one of the you know um, concerns for the customers that uh, as you are using a cloud account and uh, you know cloud services. So what happened regarding the security, security of my system, security of my data, right? As it is connected with the internet, so I am concerned with my other uh, important data also. So this is very much a concerning part for the customers. So in order to conquer such type of questions, you can very much tell to the customers that. Firstly, the complete cloud account is secured. Number two, we are using Amazon Web Servers for the cloud services, which is one of the safest uh, thing in the world which is provide the safest technology, safest features. All the features are, you know, uh, very much protected. So there is no such kind of hacking or any disturbance uh, for the customers related to the security feature. Number two, we are using the HTTPS protocol. Along with that, we have a different data storage certifications available. So the certificate or the compliance which we follow is GDPR. So GDPR is the compliance for the European nations which they have to follow whenever they are using the cloud services. So all such things or the certifications we can very much provide to you if customer is very much concerned regarding the security of their data. And as you can see over here, we have we comply with the EN 50131. So all these certification and the compliance, we have the certificates available. In case if any customer requires, then we can very much provide it. Right, then we have a easy user interface. So sometimes what happened is because as you know that as we are providing the intrusion alarm system, so we say that it will reduce your, you know, the tension means it will give you the ease of or peace of mind, right? So what do you mean by that? The peace of mind means once you have the intrusion alarm system at your home or at your site, then just 
you know, uh, there's no need to be a panic or it will give you 100% security in terms of using the system, in terms of using the web applications or in terms of the network security or the smart com security. So this is what it does mean that uh, easy user interface, right? Just a second. Correct. So guys, now let's come to the pricing chart. So what do you mean by pricing chart? As you know that in the Texicom cloud account, there are two options available. One is free of cost account. Second is paid account. So in the free of cost account, customer can add the site as free of cost. In the free of cost, he will get very limited features. Means there are only two or three features which he will get. And then as compared to the paid account, the paid account is of two type. One is called a standard plan. A standard plan, customer has to pay 1000 or in term, means as specific triple nine per year per, uh, per panel per year, right? Means triple nine customer has to pay or installer has to pay to the Texicom per year per panel, right? And if customer goes with the gold plan, then he has to pay 700 rupees per panel per year. But apart from that 700, he has to pay 50,000 also per year. This is a fixed cost he has to pay. Correct. So these are the pricing chart or the pricing plan when you have a Texicom cloud account. So I'm repeating one more time because this is very important. Free of cost account is not written over here. The pricing plan is written, which has two options. First plan is triple nine per panel per year. If you go with the three years plan, then you have to pay 2700 rupees, right? So here you will get 300 of discount. And if you go with the gold plan, you have to pay 700 per panel per year. And if you go for three years plan, you have to pay 1800. In the gold plan, you have to make an additional payment of 50,000 per year. This is a fixed cost. You have to pay. Uh, you have to make a payment of 50,000, right? So this is regarding the pricing chart. Then we have a process flow. So what do you mean by process flow? It means Number one, what we are going to do here is we have to sign up into the Texicom cloud account. Once we sign up, then you have to log in. And after login into the Texicom cloud account, installer have to do a couple of things. Number one, the owner will add their employees into the cloud account. Then number two, you have to add the site into the cloud account. After adding the site, you have to create a user for the end customer because we have to provide a Texicom cloud app to the end customer. And the name of the cloud app is Texicom Connect V2. So we have to provide a Texicom Connect V2 to the customer. For doing that, we need to create a user we need to create a user for the end customer. Once the user is created, then the end customer will download the Texicom Connect V2 app and he will enter his email ID and password, whatever he has created. After that, enter the panel user code and then log in into the mobile app. So this is the complete process of signing up from signing up till the customer is using the mobile app, right? So one by one, I'll just go through all these steps. Now I'm just showing you the live demonstration of how we have to sign up into the cloud account. After signing up, we will log in into the cloud account. Once we log in, 
Then I will show you how to add the employee. And after adding the employee, I will show you how to add a site. OK, so. Open the browser. And here you have to go to cloud.texi.com. So once you go to the cloud.texi.com, it will, uh, you know, uh, move to the digital.texi.com oblique cloud. So this is one of the new website which we have created. So whatever the digital products we have just launched since, uh, you know, past one, one and a half years, all the products you can learn from this website. Whether it is related to the capture PAR motions or whether it is related to the cloud services. Everything you can go through from here. Then you can see on the right side, there are two options, join for free and login. So you will click on join for free. So once uh, you click on join for free, you can see there is a sign up page. So this is very, uh, you know, a simple or basic things which whenever you create any uh, account, whether it's a Gmail account or anything like that, is the same way here you have to do. So enter your first name. Last name. Although I have created my cloud account, so I'm just showing you. Just for your idea how to make it. I will not go with the you know registering that particular uh, thing with my name because my name and everything is already registered. So here you have to enter your company name. So the company name is your installation company name. For example, let's say I have a company XYZ. Company. Give the address. Before giving the address, select the country. So here United Kingdom is there. You have to select India. Once you select the India, then select the state. National Capital Territory of Delhi. Enter the address. Now here it is asking for company number, right? So you can enter here as GST number. The company GST number, you can enter it here, whatever the GST number is. And here the GST or instead of GST number is not here. It is actually here GST number. So enter the GST number over here in the company number. You can enter the company PAN number. OK, so under the GST number, the company's GST detail will be here and the, under the company number, you have to enter the PAN number over here. Then enter the phone number or your mobile number. Email address. Whatever the email address you will enter over here. will get. A password reset link on that particular email ID. So make sure the email ID is correct. And remember one thing, the owner of the company will create the cloud account. I'm repeating it again and again because most of the time people are not aware of. So engineers, what will happen at the site whenever the installation is happening? In uh, what the engineer will do, engineer will create the account from his name from his details so which is incorrect never try this enter whatever the details you can give regarding your company so that if any verification happens you know afterwards they will you know approve your account as soon as possible and then click on terms and conditions and then click on next so it will not Go right away, just a second. 
okay so uh not a problem so guys once you once you click over the next option then it will give you two options over there to select the plan so select the first plan which is a free of cost plan and then click on next then once you click on next it will complete your sign up once your sign up is completed then on the email id whatever the email id you have entered over here on that particular email id you will receive a password reset link immediately okay because it's a auto approval uh, system once you create your account once you sign up you will get the auto approval from taxicom automatically and on this email you will receive a password reset link once the password it is reset then come to the taxicom cloud.taxi.com again and then after that login over here so click on login once you come to that particular page here it will ask you to enter the email id right so i will enter my email id and my password and I'll click on login. So uh, friends, uh, till here, what I have done, I'm just repeating again. Firstly, I went to the site, which is cloud.taxi.com. Once you go there, you have to go to join for free. And once you click on join for or join for free, the set uh, the sign up page will open. Enter your name, all the details, all the particulars of the company. And click on next and then select the plan. The first plan is free of cost. Second plan is the paid plan. Right, so initially you can click on free plan. Then click on next. And on the email ID, whatever the email ID you have entered, you will receive a password means a, a email from Texicom to reset your password. Once you reset your password, then you can log in into the cloud.taxi.com. Once you log in, then you will receive a dashboard like this. Correct. Now, firstly, what you have to do. So I'll just go through over all the uh, things, whatever there in the cloud account. So you have to go to home. So here in the home section. In the uh, taxi dot uh, in the cloud account, it will give you the option to learn all the things. So as you can see, if you want to learn what all things are there under the remote maintenance, so you can click over here for on-site programming, for access anywhere, for manage access. So all these things, learning tools are available in the home screen, in the home tab. Then come to the dashboard. Under the dashboard, it will give you the installer ID. So automatically the cloud account will provide you one installer ID. Then after that, it will show you about all the sites added. So as of now, I have total panels 4, total users 34, total labels 1. So when you log in into the cloud account for the first time, you will not able to see all these things because you have just logged in for the very first time into the cloud account. You have not added any sites, right? But once you have, once you start adding your sites, then under the dashboard, you will able to see all these things. Then come to the account management. Right, so under the account management, now I have told you that once the owner will, uh, you know, create the account, then he can add their employees into that account, right? So how you will do that? Once you click on cloud account, then you can see over here account overview, whatever the you know details you have entered while creating the account. Then come to the employees section. 
Now I want to add, let's say, one or two employees under that cloud account, right? So on the right side, you can see add new employee is there. So I'll click on add new employee. Now, while adding the employee, it will ask you uh, which type of employee you are adding as an engineer, as an account manager, or as an administrator. If you select the employee as an administrator, then that particular employee has the full rights like you. Or if you want to add him like engineer, then it will have limited access, not like the administrator. OK, so it depends upon your selection. Whatever the selection you are doing, it will create that type of user. So I'll just add as a administrator. Then click on next. Enter the email ID. So you have to enter the email ID of your employee. OK, so uh, let's say. I'm just entering the random email ID. Then first name, then last name. And then you can send as, no, sorry, you can click on next. Once you click on next, then again, that particular user on his email ID will receive a email for reset the password. OK, so the user will log in into this email ID and reset the password. Once he reset the password, then again, now employee can go to cloud.taxi.com and after that, he can also log in into that cloud account. OK, so now you're under your cloud account. Your employee can also access that cloud account and he can also add the sites of the customer. So this is the way of adding your engineer. Correct. Now I will go to the Next option, which is. Adding a site because that is my ultimate task, correct? So click on site management, then click on sites on the left side. So my my uh, uh, sites page is little different because I have added number of sites previously also, right? But when you click on the site, you will not see anything under that because you have not yet started. Now you have to add a site, so click on add a site. Now here what you have to do, you have to enter the site name. Account number account number you can enter any random number. This has no significance as of now. If you have any company number, you can enter that company number also as an account number. So I'll just give the site name. Uh, and Installation type, so which type of site it is? It's a private residential, multi-occupancy residential, commercial area, retail, education, healthcare. So I'll just make it private residential. If you want to add, uh, you know, the details of the end customer also, then click on add customer site details. So here you can add installation date, when the installation happened, uh, I'll enter today's date. Then installer details. You can enter the installer name also means your name also. Description, full name, contact number, address. Each and every detail of the customers you can enter over here, so it will act like a database also for you, right? Once it is done, then click on next. Now, as you know that you know uh, for adding a site, what do you need? You need an app code, correct? So you have to generate a unique app code, six digit app code from the site. As you all know, the shortcut of creating an app code from the keypad is 
you have to enter your engineer code one, two, three, four, then seven. OK, four. OK, this is the shortcut of creating a app code. So once the app code is generated, you will enter the unique six digit number over here. And that app code will remain valid for one hour, right? So you just enter app code over here and enter the engineer code. So engineer code by default is one, two, three, four. And then once you click on next, click on next again, then it will ask you to uh, it will uh, ask and select the plan, which plan you want to go with. So there are two plans. It will come up. Select the first plan, which is a free of cost. Right, so once it is done, the site is added, then go to the site. And the site will start showing you like this. Correct. Once the site is added, it will start showing you like this one by one. It will start coming over here. So as of now, you can see there are five sites. One, two, three, four, five. Correct. So if you go with let's uh, let me try one site if it is live right now. Great, it looks like it is connected. So just a minute, I'll just go through. This site again, so as you can see over here, it is written as Delhi Prasad ready and it is showing live. The panel status is all OK under configure. The configure tab is coming under overview. Overview tab is coming. OK, remember one thing in order to identify whether the site is added as free or as a paid site. What is the difference? How you can identify from this location? So I have selected one site which is right now selected. It's coming in orange color. So if you are able to see overview and configure. Both the things it means that site is added as a paid site. OK, and if I'm just now selecting the you know the first one where the account detail a mole is written. Here you can see only overview is coming. Configure tab is not coming. Means this site is. This site was added as a free of cost site. Right, so as you know that whenever we have. Uh, free uh, or a paid things are there, then obviously in the free things you will get very less features, but in the paid one you will get a lot of features in the same way. If you are adding a site as a free of cost, let's see what all things you will able to see. If I'm able to open this site, I'll just. Show you. OK, so as you can see, I have just opened this a mole site as you can see what all things I can see over here. Panel account tools app management. OK, so I just tell you about the features when you have a site added as free. Number one, what you will get? You will able to provide. The mobile app to the end customer free of cost. Right, the cloud based mobile app which the customer will use. It will be free of cost and the customer can use it as as long as he want. There will be no subscription charges at all. Number two, you can provide. Uh, you know uh, this cloud app to multiple users means. If there are five members in a house where the customer is having an intrusion alarm system and he want to use a mobile app. All the five members can use the mobile app without any problem. But remember one thing. At a time only one user. Can log in into the mobile app. If multiple users are logging are trying to log in into the mobile app, it will not happen. OK, always remember. Whether the site is added as a paid or free. It doesn't matter. But 
whenever the user is login into the mobile app, only one user can do that at a time. Not even two users can log in at the same time. Correct. Apart from this, there is nothing else in the free feature. The only thing what he can do is in the free one is upgrade firmware of the smart com and upgrade firmware of the panel. Yeah, this is also there. I'm sorry. I just forgot to tell you. So upgrade the firmware of the panel and upgrade the firmware of the smart com. So I have told you three things. Number one. Installer can add the customer user and provide the mobile app to the customer. Number two. Installer can upgrade the panel firmware version remotely. Number three, installer can upgrade the smart com firmware version remotely. OK. That's all you will get in the free account if you have added that particular site as free. Now coming to the paid one. Let's go to the site. Now I'll just select over here. Click on overview. Friends, you can see. Now my features are increased. Earlier. When the site was added as free of cost, there were only three features panel account tools. App management. But in the paid one. Configuration tool. Information health check is also now coming. OK, so this is what the difference you will able to get if you have a site added as a paid site. Correct. So. I'll just. Go through this health check. So what all health check basically you can do? Under the health check, you have three tabs health check history, so it will show you the health check history also when the health check was happened. And what was the status when the health check happened on this date? It was all OK when health check was happened at this date. It was faulty when health check was happened on this date. It was failed. And if you want to see the details, you can click over here. Then configure option means as I told you that cloud gives you the option that under the health check, what all things you want and what all things you don't want. So you can just enable and disable it accordingly. I don't want to do health check of logs check. You can remove it. Or uh, Mm, I want to do the health check of zones. That is fine. Non active zones remove it. I don't want zones on soak test. I don't want to do so remove it. So like that you can select. And unselect whatever the things you want to do. And here you can see email report to. So once the health check is done. My cloud will automatically send a complete report to let's say I'm entering my email ID. Ribubolovali at gmail.com. This is my Gmail ID. And on success, send you can you can send to email ID on any particular means you can send the report to any particular email ID. And if the uh, you know report status is failed, then on any particular email ID you want to send. You can enter it accordingly. Once it is done, then click on save. Right? So, this is under the configuration option. You can enable and disable it accordingly. Then, under the set schedule. So, if you remember, I told you, I have told you that there are different options available. Now, what all these options are? You can set the schedule automatically. My cloud account will do the health check. Every week, monthly, quarterly, half yearly and yearly. I'm sorry, there is nothing like um, uh, you know, bi-weekly. I was uh, 
in a bit of confusion on that part. I'm sorry. So there are only five options. So whatever the option you will select, let's say I have selected monthly. So monthly my cloud will do the health check and send the report to my Gmail account, right? And after that you can click on save option. So this is under the health check. Whatever the health check you want to do, you can accordingly select and deselect. Again, coming to the overview option. So under the configuration, guys, under the configuration, as you can see, you can configure zones, areas, global, keypad, expanders, output, communication, users, and template and defaults. Right. So I will not explain you each and everything over here because this is exactly same programming which you will which you are doing in the WinTech software. Right. So I just want to show you that what all features you will get once you have a site added as a paid site. As I've explained to you about the template programming also. So template basically reduce your lot of time. So if you have a fixed pattern of programming saved under the template, you can just send that template to the panel programming and within a minute of time, the complete panel is programmed. Correct? So these are the features you will get once you have a Texicom cloud account and under that if you have a paid site added. And by any chance, you know, Let's say uh, I have added a site as a free site. Now I want to change it to a paid one, right? You can very much do this. So once you click on the free site, click on overview. And now I want to change the plan means I want to upgrade the plan. So click on upgrade plan on the right side. So yeah, uh, here it is coming as change connection option. Now here you can select. Basically, these are the two plans. First plan is connect V2 app visibility. So this is the free of cost plan. And second plan system and V2 app management. When you select this one, system and V2 app management, this is the paid one. Correct. So automatically it will select one year. You can also select for three years also. So in three years, there will be a discount of 300 rupees. Correct. So as of now, I'll just select one year and click on next. And then, you know, um, add your payment plans means uh, the, uh, the card details and the amount will get deducted and the site will be changed to a upgraded plan, which is a paid plan. So this is the way of changing the plan in between also. Correct. So this is all about the Texicom cloud services, how to create a cloud account. Then after creating how to add your employees so that your employees can also add the sites. Into your cloud account, right? Because every time owner is not available for adding a site for doing all these things, right? Owner has n number of things. The owner will take care of the sales also, sometimes pre-sales also, meetings also, customer meetings also, some escalations from the customers also, right? So customers means the owner is always occupied. We have engineers, we have a team who are already added in my cloud account. Now my team can do all the work. Once the engineers are added under the employees section, then you have to add a site. Once the site is added, now it depends upon you that how you want to add a site as a free of cost or as a paid one. Right and under the paid one, I have just shown you what all options you will get as compared to the free site added. So basically there are n number of features. In terms of paid plan. And very much it will benefit you as well as your customer also. Correct. 
So just a minute, guys, I'll just. Unmute everyone so that you can ask your questions if you have any doubts. Just a minute. Yes, so. One by one, if you have any doubts, please uh, let me know. Uh, I have just unmuted everyone. You can unmute yourself and ask the questions. Guys, is there any questions or uh, any doubts? Please let me know. Yeah, does it have any storage features also on cloud? Uh, storage features in terms of like events log or, uh, or what type of storage feature you are yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, in terms of event logs. Yes, you can have unlimited logs saved irrespective of the capacity of the panel. Uh, the cloud in the cloud, you have unlimited uh, storage capacity along with the event logs. Even the complete programming will remain saved in the cloud and by chance, you know, if the panel got defaulted or at the site, we have to default the control panel. No worries. The complete programming can be sent from the cloud to the panel. OK, the, the second question is when there is a subscri subscription fees, then why there is a fixed cost added to it? So subscription fees, see in the uh, pricing part, there are two options. One is adding a site without any subscription fee. Right, which is your triple nine per uh, per year per plan. OK, this is a standard plan. Second plan is the for the gold membership means in the gold membership. Uh, the company gives you one, uh, you know, extra benefit that there is a because in the in the uh, Gold membership, you will get the custom branding option. In the standard plan, the custom branding option is not available. OK, so in the in the gold membership, there are two, three features are more as compared to the standard plan. So that is why in the gold membership, you have to make a payment one uh, every year of 50,000. And then you can add the site with 700 rupees per year per uh, per panel. Does it include the on site support also? On site support from Texicom. Yeah, means uh, if we get any on site support on site, if we have an issue in any site, if we have it and we have an issue on that uh, site regarding the panel, regarding the programming, does it include that that part also? Uh, no, uh, unfortunately, on site uh, visits are not uh, uh, included in this one or uh, there is no other options also uh, to, uh, you know, have a person on site from Texicom because uh, as a Texicom, we never do any visits. Yeah, apart from this, we have a tech support available Monday to Saturday and, you know, we have a regional technical person also available like for the West region, we have Rohan Shinde. For uh, South region, we have uh, uh, Monish and for North and East region, I am available. But on site, we never do any visits. OK, right. Yes, so uh, see, as, as I told you that there are, you know, um, I mean, number of ways of uh, pro uh, programming the panel and the complete system. So that is why we have come up with the cloud services also so that it will reduce, you know, um, the problem feature, which, you know, most of the installer feel that, you know, Texicom is a very complex system and, uh, you know, uh, although it is very good, but it is a very complex system. So this is basically a myth 
the in the mind of the people that it's a complex system. It's not a, not at all a very complex system. And I just want to add one more thing. Yesterday only we got the update also that we have launched the version six panels also. So as of now in the market, we have panel Premier Elite version five available. But yesterday only we have just launched Premier Elite version six also. So in the version six, we have one more benefit where we just need to set a country code to 91. Once the country code is set to 91, all the settings will be by default done. Means area and the global programming settings will be automatically done once we set the country code to 91. So we are trying our best to reduce the workload of the installer, even if it's a new installer and he has never done the intrusion alarm system. He will also not feel, uh, you know, that much hectic that it, what you know, whatever the things he will do at the site. Sir, if new site will get and how will the solutions be? How will the solutions be? How will I get? Like if I get banks or if I get an industry in which I have to taxi forms solutions. तो हमें तो मालूम नहीं कि उसमें क्या-क्या मतलब कि कौन-कौन से उसमें उसमें what what you can do so in taxi com connect with any technical person from your region or call me उसमें हम क्या करते हैं we'll just guide you जैसे आपके पास अगर कोई site visit आता है for CCTV camera you can very much tell to the customer about the intrusion alarm system and what all questions you have to ask? आपको क्या पूछना है कस्टमर से? आपको पूरा का पूरा उसका ट्रेनिंग दिया जाता है। So there is a fixed questions जो आपको कस्टमर से पूछने होते हैं while designing the solution. Once you have all the answers, आप वो हमें बताएं। उसके बाद हम आपको complete BOQ solution बना के दे देंगे। Okay. So it's not a very rocket science. कोई बहुत बड़ी चीज नहीं है। Simple होता है। what do you have to do? आप अगर साइट विजिट पे जाते हैं तो हमें कौन-कौन से पॉइंट्स कवर करने हैं बस वही हमें नोटेड डाउन करने हैं उसके बाद वो इनफॉरमेशन आपको हमें देनी है और हम आपको उसके अगेंस्ट ये 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 सॉल्यूशन पूरा बना के दे देते हैं यही बस करना होता है और मोस्टली जो हमारी साइट्स होती हैं वहाँ फिक्स टाइप ऑफ स जैसे वहाँ पे शटर कांटेक्ट होता है, रोलिंग शटर्स होते हैं, तो हमें शटर कांटेक्ट देना है। विंडोज होते हैं, तो हमें वाइब्रेशन देना है। तो मतलब ऐसे टाइप का एक मैंने एग्जांपल दिया आपको। हाँ हाँ बराबर। तो इस तरह से आप किसी भी टेक्निकल पर्सन के साथ कनेक्ट करिए टैक्सी कॉम के, वो आपको पूरा Okay, fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, yes, please. Is there anyone? Up unmute kar sakte. You can ask uh, your questions. Okay, no problem. Agar, uh, if there is no other questions, then we'll you know end up the session. So uh, hopefully, aapko samajh mein aaya hoga. you will be able to understand in today's session whatever the things we have covered. And uh, thank you for your time. Yes, sir, one last question. Yes. Will I get your uh, mail ID and number, please? Ah, sure. I'll just write it down in the chat box, my email ID and phone number. If anyone has any queries, please let me know. So guys, I have uh, just entered my email ID and phone number in the chat box. If you have any queries, please let me know. Drop me a message or a WhatsApp message in case if I am not picking the call. 
and I'll be happy to help uh, help you out definitely. OK, thank you so much, guys, for attending today's session. Stay safe. Bye bye. Take care.